the scholar, the just, the fighter of the holy war, the warrior at the border post. Okay, which year this uh, inscription was written? Six, 674. Yeah, but that's the Muslim date. In our calendar, which year it was? 1275. Yes. Our second excursion took place in Nimrod Fortress Nature Reserve on 26 October 2021. The Nimrod Fortress is the biggest preserved era battle in all of Israel. The mountain top stronghold spanning back to the 13th century. Its castle lying at the foot of Mount Hermon is the largest castle remaining in Israel from the Middle Ages. It is located in the midst of a magical mountain landscape on the slopes of Mount Hermon. According to geological observations and archaeological findings, the Nimrod fortress in the Golan was first built in the Hellenist period up to 38 or the Byzantine period, 4th century to 7th century AD. The fortress was rebuilt around 1228 by Al-Aziz Uthman and was further expanded to contain the whole bridge by 1230. Certain things to be marked about this archaeological place. The Berbers inscription. This inscription is found near the western gates inside the fortress. It is the largest and most imposing inscription ever found in Israel to date. Four lines engraved on the stone, six meters long, glorify the salt by bus in whose period the main part of the fortress was constructed. Other commanders and the date 674 after the Hegira 1275 CE. The Southwestern Tower. It is an enormous four-story tower that was expanded during the Mameluk period. Tower is of great importance because it defended the relatively vulnerable southern side. The tower is a wonderful lookout point to the southern wall. The large system. In the northeast of the southwestern tower, there is a large system into which rainwater flowed via a no wind system of channels, a drinking fountain located on the external wall at the southern side of the reservoir. A beautiful tower is a very impressive seven-sided building. Due to its size, a clustered column was built at its center, on which the ashes of the roof spread out to the wall of the building. The carving of the stones is on a very high standard. The Moat this is a channel carved out of the rock, separating the fortress from its keep. The purpose of the Moat was to protect the keep from enemy attack. On the highest point of the castle is the keep, built as an independent fortress with its own Moat and wall. It provided a line of defense should the lower part of the castle be captured. There is a spectacular view from the top of the key. The Northern Tower is an imposing tower at the western end of the Northern Wall, built in 1230 CE. The well-preserved tower includes a hall with arrow slice in its walls, from which a staircase can be climbed to the roof. In the 15th century, the place apparently served as a prison. The western gate. The stones of the ark over the gate moved in the earthquake that occurred in 1759 CA. The sacred passage. Alongside the gates, there is a large opening leading to a beautiful staircase leading to a sacred passage through which it is possible to leave the fortress without being discovered by the enemy outside. Outside the fortress, on its eastern side, there is a water system measuring 26 times 54 meters and 5 meters deep. Its location on a slope enabled the collection of rainwater 
that served the inhabitants of the castle. <laughs> so the girls were running away in panic. So this is the panic fear from the god Pan. Pan was half wild, maybe the wildest of the gods, and he loved the nature. Okay? So here was a city, a small city. Um, in the times of uh, the Ptolemies, they built here the city. But in the year 20 before uh, Christ, this became part of Herod's um, kingdom and the tetrarch Philippos Philippos yeah, I'm afraid ah the phone yeah, yeah, yeah. Philippos uh, this was his so this is why Caesarea of Philippos now what happened according to the gospel in Caesarea of Philippos first there was one woman from Panias according to tradition she was healed by Jesus but for us more important is Jesus and his disciples were close to Caesarea of Philippus. And what happened there? There's a famous question of Jesus. Who do the people say I am? And the answer, some say one of the prophets, some say John of the Baptist, Elijah. And who do you think I am? Okay? Now, Peter's answer, you are the Messiah, Christ, son of the living God. But in order to understand why in this place, you have to think this is a place of the Greek god Pan, Nympha called Echo, 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 but also many other gods. I will take you up there and you will see places for different gods. So, now imagine this pagan pl uh, place with many gods. Jesus says, so, where is my place here? What do you think, no? Thank you! <laughs> but I'm not finished yet. <laughs> anyway. Uh, where is my place among these gods? No? What do people say? Who am I? This is a perfect place to ask this question because this is a moment where we see different gods, different powers. Thank you very much. Different, um, uh, different persons that are effective. If you pray to this god, he will give you this. If you pray to that one, like, like in our case, Saint Christopher protects you from car accident and Saint Florian from fire and Saint Santa Rita will heal your wife, and so far and so on. According to the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 16, verse 15 to 20. But what do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the never world shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. All this discussion happened at Banyas. The park of Banyas was known as Banyas. It is a very important historical place for biblical and cosmogonic research. Banyas is in the northern region of Israel. Its ancient city is situated near the Galilean Sea, about 20 miles. It is located at the foot of Mount Hermon, north of the Golan Heights. In Christian tradition, the ancient city of Banyas is where St. Peter confessed that Jesus is the Messiah. Afterwards, the same place called Caesarea Philippi, Jesus entrusted to Peter the keys of the kingdom of heaven. This place is called Caesarea Philippi because in 4 BC until 34 AD, during the reign of King Philip, son of Herod the Great, Philip rebuilt the town of Panians and named it Caesarea just for the honor of the Emperor Augustus and for himself. Caesarea Philippi is also recognized as the place where Jesus healed women afflicted with hemorrhages for 12 years, as recorded in Luke chapter 14 verse 13. After the Byzantine period, 
the Muslim conquered Panians in the 7th century and developed this village as it is today. The ancient city of Banias was called Panias, signifying a sacred place to the god Pan, lava of Eko. Pan is the god of the wild, shepherds and flocks, nature of mountain wilds. He has the hindquarters, legs, and horns of a goat. Pan has a form of half god and half goat, and he is a god of fertility. One day, he appeared in the niche playing the flute, and three goats started dancing, and they became sacred goats, because they were part of Pan's godness. In Banyas today, there are many things such as the springs of water coming from the Hermon stream through the caves of the mountains. Through the caves of the mountain, the winds of the cave temples of Pan, the tombs of the sacred gods. During the reign of different empires, many gods were added to Pan. Therefore, the ruin of the court built for Nemenis is found in Banyas. Nemenis is the goddess of vengeance venerated during the Hellenistic period. Nems is a goddess and wife of God Pan. Therefore, the ruins of her court is found in Banyas. With the waterfalls and the beauty of the nature, Banyas is a very beautiful place for tourists, leisure, and biblical finances. Laish becomes Dan. In the Bible, it is written that during the migration of the tribe of Dan, the Danites did not have any possession of territory among the tribes of Israel. Judges chapter 18 verse 1. Therefore, they sent five spies to the city of Laish to explore the land and scout it. They saw people of Laish living peaceful life. When the five spies returned to their king, they said, Come, let us attack them, for we have seen the land and it is very good. Are you going to hesitate? Judges chapter 18 verse 9. This was the way the Danites conquered the city of Laish and later on they changed the name Laish to Dan, the name of their father. This is confirmed by Judges chapter 18 verse 29. It reads, And they called the name of the city Dan after the name of Dan their father who was born to Israel but the name of the city was Laish at the first. In present area of Dan, there are many ruined places, the sacred precincts, Israelite kingdom during ancient Dan, and Abraham's gate or Israelite gate. When the Danites were going to conquer Laish, they took the shrine from the house of Baker in the mountain region of Ephraim and brought it to the new conquered territory, Laish. The sacred precinct is the sacred temple that the king Jeroboam built in the veneration of the shrine in form of golden calf. It was built with big walls as alternative to the one at the temple in Jerusalem. They also call this place the Tua of ancient land. During the Israelite period, 2700, in 2400 BCE, the kings built a very huge kingdom with strong walls and gates for protection against the enemies and to draw the attention of people away from Jerusalem. It was built with mud bricks. In Genesis chapter 14, verse 14, it says, When Abraham heard that his kinsman had been captured, he mastered 318 of his retainers born in his house and went in pursuit as far as Dan. During the war in Sodom and Gomorrah, the enemies went away with Lot, the nephew of Abraham. To rescue his nephew, Abraham passed through one of the Israelite gates in Dan in pursuit of the enemies. Therefore, they have given a name to that gate, Abraham's Gate. In Dan, there are many ritual sites during Canaanite period. 
In the present park of Tel Dan, there are beautiful vegetation with famous trees. The Dan stream is the most significant of the three sources of the Jordan River. This stream keeps the nature of Dan so amazing and wonderful that, in addition, in these historical places in Dan, the excavation works are still going on.